Are you an old hat at your business? This is an old hat. Actually belongs to my son, although I steal it sometimes when I'm walking to keep my hair off my neck, especially in the summer when it gets hot. Old hat, are you an old hat in your business, in your industry, in your working world, in your career, in your life? Old hat, of course, is an old expression, older expression from the late 19th, early 20th century that means and actually referred to hats and how fashionable or how up-to-date hats were back when men and women wore hats all the time. Uh, not so much anymore. I don't, I don't even remember. I think the last time I wore a hat was, well, probably in college, probably when I was running or something, I wore hats to keep my hair off my neck, <laughs> things like that. But hats are not a really big fashion statement, not at least in the circles that I run in these days. So <clears throat> old hat means um, too familiar. It can mean too familiar. Uh, out of date, um, I want to say unfashionable because when I think of old hat, I think of fashion because that's sort of where the meaning came from. So if our clothes, I'm thinking I need to go clean my closet and go through my shoes and my clothes, are out of date, we need to get rid of them because my family's always giving me a hard time that I just do my own thing and I'm very out of date, kind of like my hair, right, my 80s hair. Uh, that's old fashioned, it's old hat, um, something that's not new. And so people used to be really cognizant, and I think that they still are in many circles, of are they wearing the latest fashions? Are they up to date? We do the same thing in our businesses. We ask ourselves, are we up to date? Are we learning and staying current with what the latest, greatest trends are, not only in our industry, but in other industries as well? Are we making sure that we're keeping up with the times? Some people keep up with the Joneses. In business, we want to keep up with the technology and the time. And technology is changing so quickly, that one aspect of our business might be one that, that we need to really pay attention to or, or, or not. Because just because something's new doesn't mean it's the right thing for us and for our business. Uh, new technology. I, I have a sister that's a really early adopter of all new technology. And I'm kind of in the middle. And then I have another sister who is like, you know, Heck, I think she might still have her own old flip phone because she's not an early adopter of technology. My daughter was one of the, the last ones to get rid of her slide phone uh, just because she liked it. She was used to it. It was familiar. And sometimes things become familiar to the point of we're in a rut and we do them over and over again because we've always done them that way. That, that happens in our businesses very often, especially in older established businesses. In corporate America, I worked in some of some corporations that have been around for over a hundred years and they were still doing certain processes and procedures and equi using equipment and things that had, you know, been outdated for like 50 years, but it's just because they had always done it that way. And that is my definition of being in a rut, doing something because you've always done it that way and never questioning whether there's a better way to do it. Now, I'm all about more efficient, more effective, faster, easier, um, less resources used ways of doing things. And so that always drove me nuts in corporate America and in my own businesses. I wanted everybody to always have this continuous improvement uh, and not always changing, but always evaluating and looking at the job that they were doing, this, this, the situation or the process or the procedure and saying, and noticing and looking for continually ways to do it better, ways to make sure that they were getting a better result. And if everybody does that, we, we built that into the, our culture of my Italian food manufacturing business. Everybody was always doing that. And we were always, not just on an annual basis, like in some of the corporations I'd worked for, but all the time, everybody was always looking for ways to do things better. And that made it possible for us to grow exponentially be, in little tiny increments. It didn't even feel like we were changing or growing that much because it was just built into our culture. So some, Sometimes you can build things like that into your systems that become old hat, but we want to keep them because they're not, not too familiar, but they're habits that serve us. Now, I have been guilty of getting habits and, and turning them into kind of rituals and routines and not evaluating on a regular enough of basis whether they're still in my best interest or not. One such example that I just thought of this morning was my habit of walking. I love to walk outside and walk in nature every day. And for the last 10 years, without fail almost every day. And I think I've missed, I've, I've probably missed, you know, I don't know how many days in 10 years, but I'll, not very many. Most days I, I get out, my exercise every day is to go for a walk. Now, I have a, had a sudden cardiac arrest, so walking seemed like the best exercise for me. 
10 years ago when I started it. I guess it's only been nine, nine some years. But now, after COVID and being locked down and, and all the craziness that's going on in the world, I'm noticing, and maybe it's other habits that have snuck in, but I'm noticing that walking isn't enough for me right now it, it, or anymore. It's gotten to be old hat. It's gotten to be a routine and a rut where I was counting on that to keep me at the level of health and fitness that I wanted to be. And it's, it's like going backwards. So I need to reevaluate and relook at what do I need to add or shake up or change in my physical ex exercise, personal health routine to make it so that walking isn't the only thing I do and that walking isn't old hat. And I am maintaining the level of health I want and walking's a part of that, but it's not the only thing that I do. So we need to look at the things that have become automatic for us and reevaluate if they are still serving us. Now, the cool thing about things that are old hat is we can say they're old fashioned and out of date, or we can revitalize them and, and say, hey, this is vintage, this has worked all along. If it's not broken, don't fix it. So there's always different ways and different perspectives of looking at any of these idioms or sayings, right? So I would be curious to know, what is your experience with old hat? Um, we can have uh, our relationships, any area of our life can become too familiar, right? Exercise, relationships, um, things we take for granted, uh, all of those. So uh, my challenge to myself today now reading this uh, idiom is to look at each of the aspects and areas of my life and ask myself, are there, are there places that I've, I've let slip and become old hat or become too familiar or become old fashioned and out of date or not kept up with the times for my business and for my life? And I challenge you to do the same. See it, go out, have an absolutely amazing day. If there's an idiom you'd like to know the meaning of, hit me up in the comments below. I'd much rather look up and find out the meaning of idioms that y'all are interested in than just from my, my crazy sources and, and randomly picking one from a book, which is actually secretly what I've been doing. <laughs> That's it. Have an amazing day. If I can help you anyway, ask in the comments below. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it in your business right now? Take care.